This is a quick tutorial on gun usage with KA-50. As usual, turn on your targeting system, turn on your laser, turn on the master arm, and once we find a target, we can start shooting it. Now, to activate the cannon, you're going to press the internal cannon, that is, you're going to press the C key. That brings it up in boresight mode, pull the trigger, shoots wherever you point. But that's not really what this gun is for. What you really want to do is use the targeting camera. This gun has an effective range in excess of 4 kilometers, so it's a hell of a sniper gun. To that end, I'm going to be shooting a Shilka and anti-aircraft guns with it. Which is a much better idea than you might think it is. So, to bring up the targeting camera, the first thing I'm going to do is activate the helmet mounted sight. This step is optional. I only recommend it for those with head tracking gear. Next, I press the O key to move the targeting camera to where my helmet mounted sight was pointing. I can use plus and minus to zoom in and out, and the two bracket keys to adjust target size. I'm going to go after a fixed anti-aircraft gun first, and press the inner key to lock it. I'll then press C to bring up the cannon. Now you notice it has this box. The gun is not center mounted, it's mounted on the right side. So that right there is outside of its uh, swivel range. And that's outside of its swivel range. It's not like the Apaches where it can point just about anywhere. But unlike the Apaches, this gun is fucking awesome at range at killing armored targets. We're, we're 3.9 kilometers away, and that is in range. We have two, 220 rounds of ammo, of HE, and another 220 rounds of API. We'll use the HE against the soft stuff. So with the cannon lined up, and I need to stop side slipping for accuracy, we let off short bursts. Now because the gun is mounted on the right side, it's going to kick the aircraft to the right a bit, and you have to compensate with Betty Yaw. And I forgot the gear. That guy's dead. We'll deal with his friend, and then move on to the Shilka. Helps if it's trimmed. That should be enough. Yep, that got him. Targeting the Shilka. Because it is armored, I'm going to switch to armor piercing. And this is going to take a few hits, so I'm going to let off a series of quick bursts. He's going to try to drive off. This gun, the targeting system will not automatically lead the target. So it's best to just wait for him to stop moving. There we go. Oops. One thing you'll notice down here is we have the gun position there and the gun's maximum range, or um, deflection, here. So as long as you keep it inside that um, upper bar, you should be okay. And he's on fire. I'm going to switch back to HE. And of course, we don't have to have a target locked. I can walk this around while shooting. However, it's not terribly accurate. 
I did get one. Now, we also have these gun pods. These are UPK 23s. So to use those, I'm going to turn off the cannon with the C. And I can select the outer hard points with the Y key, the inner hard points with the I key, or both pairs with the U key. You can only do uh, both if uh, all the hard points are exactly the same. Now this does have still uses the laser rangefinder. If you reset the targeting system, like so, clearing the targeting camera, it will, once you reactivate the guns, go to a default setting. That's set for about a kilometer away. But uh, we want something a bit more accurate. So I'm going to put the targeting camera back on there. And get a range. And now we're going to fire, press the weapon fire button instead of the uh, cannon button. They are separate. And as you can see, that's a lot of 23mm shells flying out there. Each gun pod has 250 rounds of ammo. So we have a thousand total. And it's gone. <laughs> I'll now use the gun bore sighted. The only place where bore sighting it really makes sense is in a situation like this. And also for air-to-air -air combat. Um, I've found the most effective way to attack other helicopters is with a bore-sided gun. And when you're all done, you press C to disable the gun, and the reset button to go back to navigation mode. Real simple. Thanks for watching.